Rule number 36. Verbs of naming, choosing, appointing, making, and showing, among others, can take two accusatives. So let's take a verb of calling. Woko is probably the easiest to work with. If we start off with a simple sentence, Itali wokant urbem, the Italians call their city, well, let's say they call their city Rome. We would put the name of the city in the accusative case, Romam. And this is known as a predicate accusative because it's a, really in a predicate relationship to the other accusative, urbem, which is the direct object of the verb wokant. Think of the main idea as urps est Roma, where the predicate is everything after the subject here in blue. So when we put it in a construction with the verb like woko, it still remains in a quasi-predicate, even if it's in the accusative case. Let's do a few more examples. Creat cicaronem consulem. He appoints Cicero to be consul. Cicaronem is our direct object accusative and consulem is our predicate accusative after creat. In the Aeneid, we see the phrase me cometem misit. He sent me as a companion. Cometem is our predicate accusative after the verb misit. Te augurum nominaverunt. They nominated you for augur. Or ducem se praebuit. He offered himself as a leader. The predicate accusative can also be an adjective too, as in this example. Homines mansuetos reddit. He has made men gentle. Our predicate accusative is the adjective mansuetos, and notice that the translation of the adjective comes after the direct object accusative, rather than before. We can see this predicate accusative in action when we make our accusatives nominative in a passive sentence. So going back to the sentence about Cicero becoming consul, we can turn this around and make Cicero our subject. Cicero consul creator. Cicero is appointed consul. And you can see from our English translation that consul is the predicate nominative, and Cicero is truly the subject of creator. Our active sentence of Romulum regem appellant, they call Romulus king, regem is the predicate accusative, can be made passive with Romulus rex appellator. Romulus is called king. Romulus is the subject of the verb appellator, and rex is the predicate nominative. And thus I call this rule number 36. Verbs of naming, choosing, appointing, making, and showing, among others, can take two accusatives.